Welcome to Rocky Zone's new ice fishing YouTube series, Testing Fishing Expert Tactics. The name says it all. We'll be testing expert ice fishing advice sourced from the internet, old magazines, and word of mouth. In each episode, we'll be displaying current weather charts to expert level fishing tactics. We'll be fishing species such as the highly sought after jumble perch, the gator looking northern pike and more. We've been hitting the hard water for half a decade now, and we think it's time to start putting these tactics to the test. Watch our struggle and succeed as we open Pandora's ice shed. Welcome back to another testing ice fishing tactics today we're actually going to be going for lake trout and then at night we're going to stay overnight i don't know if i'm going to separate the two videos but we might just make it one but we're going to stay overnight for burbit right now the conditions kind of suck it's about uh i think two degrees celsius very slushy we haven't been on there yet but we got a lot a lot of gear so we got a long trek ahead of us and hopefully it's safe ice to sleep on find out let's get to it Here we go. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, boy. No snowmobile problem. <laughs> Can I try to hit 60? And then Burbit down to 30. Burbit, Burbit are at 62. Yeah. Well, we're in an area where we're close to deep water, 120 or 110 on one side, and it's really steep, maybe about 50 meters until it hits bottom from 60. Yeah. And then on the other side of the shelf, it's much more a gradual drop. So it'll go 60, then it'll be 50 meters to like 70, 80, then another 50 meters to maybe 100. And it's a slow drop off on one side, steep drop off on another side, and then we're gonna be... So we're intercepting them. We're gonna be in a highway. Yeah. Hopefully. All right guys, um, if anybody wants to sponsor us and get us some snowshoes, uh, this is what I've been dealing with this whole entire ice fishing season. Um, let me just pull it out there so you guys get an idea. Just that. It's about you know. a foot and a half. Look, it's filling up with water. Yeah. There's our live well. There's our live well. Any uh, snowshoe company want to sponsor us, please do. High five. Boom. All right. I apologize if it's a little windy, but for my first rig, I'm just going to do a black one eighth ounce jig the yellow eye there and then I'm gonna put on a stinger it looks like it's got a little wax at the end that sticks better it's like that and I'm gonna put on a big fat worm I always wanted to try worms ice fishing I never got the chance to so I put a fat worm on it and then I got another surprise yeah I'm pretty sure the stinger is supposed to go on after 
Yeah, yeah, let's do that again. Right now, I also bought, I've been seeing a lot of people use it, catching fish with it. There's some chartreuse UV bait fish glow. And it's actually, I think it's frozen. So I'm actually gonna put that on and see what it looks like. Whoa, dude. What? That's pretty sick. Pick that up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get smoked here. Ready? Alright, guys. Well, Luke is over there playing with Legos. I'm out here actually fishing. Um, what I got on is a six inch white swim bait that I pre-rigged uh, the night before because I'm smart and uh, just know, you know, can't be wasting time out here tying your rigs like that. I do. If you're an expert laker fisherman, just watch this and uh, let me know in the comments if I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just going to go just above him and see if he comes up to it. I mean, it's just like a flat line, but could be a walleye. This is a, there have been walleye caught here. So, you don't make any bumps in here. I'll try to keep the snow because the moment we move it, there's going to be a lake inside here. So, I'm going to use the snow as an insulator, keep it as flat as possible, especially when we're sleeping and put in the snow. Yes, man! Throw everything to the back here. Bring this out so it doesn't burn. Yeah. That's all right, yeah. Cool as shit here. Yeah, it looks legit. Uh, I mean, that stove's a little crooked, but uh, other than that, looks nice. All right, welcome to the Overnighter Part 2. Check this setup out. Solid, eh? Nothing like Ray sausage and butter. Could be rough if this went down. Why? Did you not? Uh, fish today. Fuck. 
Come on now. Look at that. Something's mm. going on down there, Lucas. Something's going on. My bell is freaking out. It's not my bell. The sausages are going to be burning. What's going on? Of course. Well, I'm distracted, so why else would they bite when I'm not, right? Well, the idea is that you wanted the better fishermen to be fishing while mm. the housewife cooks. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So then why am I here? Buddy, you why am I cooking? Buddy, don't even... You're how about that? You can't fish or cook. Okay, I could so do both. Look, right I'm now, fishing hey, and I'm cooking. I bet you can't do that. Look at you. You're jerking fish, it there. If I catch a fish right now... If I catch a fish... If I catch a fish... With like two rods sticking there... Right now, which is what's happening... Oh yeah? Watch this, dude. Watch this. Sausages, look. Dude, get ready. You ready, dude? If I catch a fish, if I catch a fish right, right now, now, right now, you have to stay back and keep on cooking. Right now, it is gonna happen. Right now, it's gonna happen. The inch, sausages we're gonna catch this place on fire. Inch swim bait. Ooh, baby. Bun is way too small for the juice here. I think you got me. No way in hell. Would you be fighting like that? I don't know, my 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 thing's gone. What the fuck's going on? I might have you I might have you snag. I think you have me. Let's go. I do have you as well. Let's That's what go. that is. Who's this? That's mine. Oh, you do have me. I do have you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I figure. Alright, alright. So they're coming in now. Up to you, buddy. It's all you. It's yours. I say we put them back. Because we're going to get more. I feel confident in that. We're going to get more. Put them back. <laughs> Man, did you just poop on me? He did poop on me. Ew, get out of there. Oh my god, I don't have my boots. Hurry up, please, man. Is it in the hole? Oh my god. Where is it? Where is it? I can't get it up the hole. Oh my, it's fighting like crazy, man. Oh, it's a big burbot. Does he get it? Does he get it? Does he get it? Please, God! Oh! What's going on? I don't know. It's not that one. Line. Yeah, probably. Ew, he's stinky. He <laughs> got it. He got it. Yeah! 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 First burbot! First fish of the year! Ah! Jeez, what a mess. Look at that. That's your first fish of the year, what are you talking about? Well, big fish, whatever. Right on the bottom, start nibbling at it. Nice. You choked up on this line here. Look at that weird looking fish, everybody. Look at that. Oh my God, what's going on? I don't know if you guys could see anything, but this is exactly what I caught this fish on. You just witnessed. It's a combo. That's a combo jig, man. Yeah. It's Rattler, beautiful. glow. Rattler, stinger, glow, stinger, and a chub. Yeah, for sure it is. Okay, you're close. Where is it? Oh, it's gonna Where be so it? hard. Where is it? Oh, it's big. Yeah, oh, baby. 
Nice. Whose line is that? Oh, what? Oh, it's on my line. Nice. 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 I'll take care of that. Okay, bring it out. Bring it out? That's my fish, you <laughs> Dude, the great method though, eh? Really yep. great method. It awesome. Works. Oh my god. That's it? That's it. Your hook wasn't even in his mouth. The whole middle is in his mouth. What? Alright, so after those two burbot. We got nothing. I think the bite's gonna come in maybe in a couple hours. If not, we're gonna leave leave our lines out and put a bell on them just so we know. But right now, we're cooking up some chicken. So, check this out. Hobo chicken. The self-made stove. Nothing better. Having fun, dude? I'm loving it. Catching man. big bourbon on my rod. Catching big burbot. I'm just, I was just telling all my friends now that I I caught the bigger burbot on his rod. Um, pretty disrespectful of me, but that's what you happen when you're snoozing on your phone. Was that on my phone or was it cutting uh, the throat of mine? Well, sure as hell wasn't fishing. That's for sure. The only time he catches fish is when I'm not fishing. <laughs> Check that out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, all that grease. Grease fire. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do that quick time before I melt the plate. And then flip it over. Stop, stop, stop. Ah! Maybe. Mmm! Hey, put that! Mm. Oh yeah! No put that back that with. There you go. That's nice. Don't worry about it. Secret. Secret, eh? All right. All right, guys. Um. I'm going to go pour us a couple glasses of coffee and give Luca a chance to catch a fish tonight. Um, you know I'm the editor, You can take right? care of that, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's the worst you can do to me. It's not like I pick my nose on camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Head shaker. Head shaker. Yeah, baby. I play Head you shaker. out tonight. Oh, my goodness. You feel stiff, dude. Another little guy? I think it's another, another little one. Yeah, they fight nice though, man. Yeah, it is a little one, but... Ooh, he's long. A giant lure. Look is at that, that. Is that mine? That's Jesse's. Of course, sabotaging every time I catch a fish. Jesse's line. Ah. Oh, wow. It's going to be a great night. <laughs> See that thing, like, like bob down, like, very sensitively. <laughs> Yeah, and Luca's been saying all night to me, "Oh, you're rod, you're rod," and then laughs at me when there's Oh my there. goodness! Oh, this guy's going back. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's so cute. Look yeah, at that. Luca's been saying that all night to me. You're rod, you're rod, you're rod, and then I'm like, Show actually, him, and this is the guy, little torpedo. How come you're not grabbing the fish right now? Cause I'm scared. Got <laughs> a fish? What are you a bass fish? Oh, man? they really, man, they twirl that. Yeah, look at that. Look what you did to your that's line. Death spin, dude. Look what you did to your line, man. You got the death spin. I can't even reel. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Take it easy. There's no rush. There's no rush. Remember, it's a, if it's a big fish, I it's know, a I big fish. I can't let him get slack, though. Coming up. You gotta move your leg a little bit. Coming up. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's a pig. Is he a pig? Yeah. A pig. Yeah, he's big. He's That's big. Yep. Yeah. That's a pig? Oh yeah, oh That's yeah, he's pig? nice too, oh, eh? Oh yeah. That's a pig. That's probably the biggest one, right? That's a pig. He's got a bigger head. He's not long, but he's got a, That's a pig. He's got a big body. Yeah, look at that. Look how cool that is. Too crazy. Alright, so with the same 
same rig I got on that we caught all those bear with. I'm actually gonna grab a nice herring we caught. I'm gonna do the exact same. He's about, what, like eight inches? Do the exact same thing I've been doing. Get him through the spine. And put a stinger right on the top of his head here. And uh, drop him down. Hope for the best. Oh my god. It's happening. You better go in that far away hole, bud. Uh, it's happening, dude. Ew. Whoever eats this is going to be ginormous. That's what I'm going for. Ginormous. Look at the bell. What? The bell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Where's yours? Oh, baby. Exactly. Right there on top of the bin. Are you kidding me? What is this, bro? It's five o'clock in the morning. The Laker. Five thirty. I mean, five fifty. I'm so tired. Get out that, of here. That eight inch this goes on here, and this thing feels like nothing's happening. You don't understand. <laughs> what do I do here? I got like nothing going on. Yeah, put that on top. Light on top. Okay. I'll take this. Yeah, that's no ling, man. That's not a ling. That's not a ling in any way, shape, or form. Is that a ling? Six a.m. on the dot. On the dot. That's okay. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired right now. Oh. There you go. Oh my god. Ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, you. Jesse's off. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah, he's off. No way. Yeah, he's off. Oh no, he's on. Oh, he's on and he's tired. What's going on I here, think he's man? on and he's tired. Damn, that was glued to the bottom? Yeah. No way. This, this thing is way too big, man. I can't... Oh, here we go! Oh, he's going back down all the way back down. Oh my god. I told you. Oh my god. Maybe it is a giant burbot. Oh. As long as he's got enough to run, man. Yep. Is that a walleye? That's a giant laker, Luca. That's a giant laker. Luca, that's a giant laker. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Let's take your time, take your time. He's too heavy. Get him by his guilt. Get him out! Get him out! Just get him out! 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 Oh my god! Get him out! Get out of here! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, <laughs> baby! <laughs> Holy f! <laughs> Holy f! <laughs> Holy f! <laughs> oh! oh my god! 
This is the big. We don't have a scale or measuring tape, do we? We do. An absolute tank. This is my biggest fish ever. <laughs> oh my god. He choked the stinger, baby. He choked that stinger. Oh, 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 oh. just this thing's like 40 pounds. Is he on hunt everywhere? No. In the travel. Just, just take a picture. Alright, so you guys just witnessed at about 5.40, 5.50 a.m. My biggest lake trout, the biggest fish this year, biggest fish ever I've ever caught, especially th through the ice. So it was big. <laughs> probably <laughs> going to be around boy. 28 to 26 pounds, and it's uh, 38, 40 inches. We're going to measure when we get home. I might taxidermy it. I'm definitely going to eat it. Get a replica done of it. Yeah. Man. It looks way better. Yeah, this thing is just an absolute tank, and it's amazing that you guys got to see that just on a on a cisco and a little jig i was sleeping all of a sudden the bell started ringing and there it was 20 minutes later a long fight we managed to get it right after that we were actually pulling up some burbot and uh had a nice one on but jesse couldn't grab it properly because he, he i'm scared some, he i'm scared some, of the slime he had some I'm toast and butter for breakfast so his hands were a little slippery yep and uh oh. but i was recording so whatever now we're just going to fish a little bit for some laker and burbot. See what we could get. We're getting a lot of bites, a lot of marks right now. And uh, head home. Do a lot, a lot of cleaning. Oh. Oh. It wasn't too cold last night. Uh, it's warm. Very warm weekend. One of the warmest weekends so far. Yeah. We yeah, would have been fine without the wood grain stove sleeping in the cot. Yeah. In the, in the sleeping bag. Yeah. Here's the uh, weather chart, so you guys check that out. I haven't really been monitoring it yet, but uh, last night we were getting bites like till from 6, 5.36, all the way till like 10, 10.30. And then we decided to go to bed after that. But we were just getting, pulling burbot left, right, and center. So it, it, was, a, it was a good trip for sure. We ate good, we slept good, didn't get too cold. The fire went out a little later. And then uh, when we went back to bed, we were woken up by, uh, the, you know, one of the biggest fish we've ever seen. <laughs> so, it was, uh, it was a good trip, man. It was great. Wow. Yeah. This is like, this is like, you go out and do this, and you get, you get nothing, you sleep bad, and it's terrible, and then you do it, and you do it, and then you catch something like that, and then none of that matters. Everything, the, the slate every, is clean. Every fish I goofed this year, every... Every failure is just erased after this moment. And all that just helped me, you know, all, all those goose just helped me catch that fish. The handling, I handled it. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I was handling that fish beautifully. Probably could have done better. My yeah, line was rubbing on the ice, but... The one time where it just like, you were like, oh, I lost it. Yeah. At and one point it, I thought I lost it because it was coming up. And it, it was coming up so gently that I just thought, you know, I, I couldn't feel anything. Until it decided to go back down again, then then I, I felt it, but it was really good, really uh, really fun. That was insane. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. Um, take away of this video: do not be afraid to use anything really big. You want to use a big lure, you want to catch a big fish, just do it and be patient. Patience is key, especially when you're ice fishing, and just believe, believe, and you'll catch the shark, like that I caught. I'm probably gonna mount it, we're gonna eat it, take a bunch of pictures of it, everything. It's a great time. Luca never forget it. now has, within our small circle of friends, he now has the record for largest fish. Um, and, <laughs> and uh, crown me? the biggest, <laughs> I'm crown, <laughs> crown you with shit. What do you want me to crown you with? Just, just crown me. Crown, you want me place to crown, crown, crown? There, there you go, go. here you go. He's slow, little, nice and slow. He's your little tiara. There you go. Ice I'm water king. king. Like, That's subscribe. It. See you guys later. Follow us on Instagram, oh. RockyZone underscore. I beat Jesse once again. <laughs>